who never knows what I'm going to say, so he's always right here grabbing at me. <laughs> but I told him, I said, I was glad. It seems like he and I have made approaches to airports and whatever else, and the weather always seems to be. And the crop is over with, and now he's brought the news of the port and the levy raising. And he's been here in good times and bad, like he said. He landed here, and the water was probably six to eight feet deep in here, and he's seen what the levy protects us and y'all. But the other thing is like everybody says, working together and working with y'all from the mayor of Bedaya to Charity to Concordia Parish, we have a very good delegation. And to talk about what legislators do and whatever else, this is graduate school to me. I'm learning every day and I have some very good professors with the governor and some of the legislators that I serve with. And I told somebody, I said, the greatest thing that I can see in the future, and I have one of my children that has come back to home, you know, and whenever she finished school, believe it or not, she went to LSU and finished from Alabama, and she came back home. And it's like the governor said, it's something that just brings you to your knees or whatever else, and you want to leave things better than you had it, and that's the way we've always had. And that's what this delegation with the mayor of Parity, Padilla, and the whole police jury, and with the governor's uh, leadership, the first time, whenever he and I met, I guess it was in 06 or whatever else, infrastructure in the port was one of the priorities that he put in his commitment to the state of Louisiana. And he succeeded with the port, and we know what the future will be for Bedaya. And I thank the governor and the, the bad weather for making his appearance here, and we hope as we all say, we had the most bountiful year in agriculture. Now, the production of all of this is increased. I mean, when I started growing cotton in 1977, we had bow weevils or whatever about a bale and a half. Now we just got the, the acreage uh, report. It was three bales to the acre across the board in Concordia. All that seed had to be loaded on trucks and sent to, uh, out of here with a port or whatever else. We can save money by just trucking it right here and shipping it all over the country. So I thank y'all for working with us to have Concordia Parish a better place than we had before. Thank y'all. I think that concludes our program. The only question I've got for Andy is, is his daughter rooting for LSU or Alabama on November 9th? <laughs> <laughs> Raise your right. Well, thank y'all for coming out. We look forward to visiting y'all. Congratulations. Great day.